Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 6th through December 12th. So, we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid. I did one for the first week of December, if you want to watch that. I've also done a December monthly for at any time in December, let's, but let's just see what we have for this week. What do we have? This is an overall energy for the week ahead, December 6th through the 12th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Letting go. Ooh, you're going to be letting go of something. Yeah, looks like that's the case here. You're going to be letting go. It's not easy. It's really, really, really not easy. Let me go ahead and I'm going to read that card. Letting go. Letting go. Releasing attachment. A woman releases powerful dogs that have been dragging her along. The dogs have been pulling her in different directions and holding her back from the inviting options that she has longed to experience. In order to enter these enticing adventures, she is choosing to free herself from these old impediments. And you have the power to free yourself as well. There's something in your life that you are ready to let go of. It could be an old job, a location, or even a relationship that doesn't suit you anymore. And whether or not there's an external situation you need to release, there is likely to be an internal pattern that must be shed in order to achieve the happiness and the outcomes you desire. Look within. Are you plagued by a critical or worrisome thought pattern, an unhealthy or even addictive behavior? If so, you need to know that you're engaged in some major self-sabotaging energy. But this is a vibration that you can change. It's time to muster up the discipline you need to let go. Free yourself from the inner and outer beasts that have been dragging you down. And open your life to the unencumbered destiny that you deserve. So yeah, that rings true. I feel as though it is time. It is time for you to let go. It's time to, for you to stop letting fear get in the way. Stop letting anybody hold you back. This is a time perhaps of making plans or actually doing it. So what do we have for Taurus? It's time. It's time. Now in regards to your love life, Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and it really fits. I feel like you are really paying attention to the red flags. I feel like you're getting all kinds of signs. The signs are telling you that it's time. It's time to let go of this. I think that you know it. I think that you feel it. I think that you've been held back long enough. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? You're being made aware. It's clear. You're getting lots of signs. There's lots of red flags. You're being pulled in all kinds of different directions and you know that you just want to be free. Something isn't working out, but you're holding on. It could be an unrequited relationship of some sort. There's a lack of love, lack of reciprocation. Uh, there could be fear of growing old alone here, you know. I feel as though there's a lack of, of uh, wanting to be alone, you know. I don't want to be alone. Well, sometimes it's better to be alone than to be with somebody who doesn't love you or where there's a lack of reciprocation. As far as your job goes, as far as your, your money, I feel like you're stable. I feel like, and if this, this could even be job related, whether it's a job or it's a home or it's a relationship, there could be some sort of stability to it. There's financial stability, but there's a lack of togetherness. Whatever kind of relationship this is, right? There's a lack of togetherness. It's, there's a lack of respect, okay? Um, and I feel like you, you've been holding on, and it's really, really time to let go. I mean, it's very clear. I feel like you need to focus. 
I feel like there's a lack of harmony with others. Uh, there's a lack of energy. There's a lack of ambition. I feel like you're not on the same page. And uh, whoever you've been dealing with um, is probably withdrawn. You know, whether they're, or they're two-faced or they're disloyal or they gossip or... Uh, maybe even obsessed. There could be somebody that has obsessive compulsive disorder or something like that. Um, I feel like who, wherever you've been, you may you've just lost lo lost your uh, groove. Right? It's almost like you've lost yourself in another person. Um, you could be dealing with a womanizer, you know, somebody that doesn't respect women, you know, or doesn't respect men, you know, it could go either way. Um, I also feel like you've been procrastinating, you know. There's an unrequited love situation here that you, uh, I feel like you've been receiving the signs and you've been ignoring them. You have, you've been ignoring them. It's time to reevaluate. It's time to plan your next move. And I feel like you're sad. You're sad over, you know, something that you know is not the direction that you want to go in. Ooh, it's the end of a partnership of some sort. It's the, it is. Um, oh my God. Interesting. We have a we have a major ending here. We have a major ending. I feel and the overall energy is the the page of wands reverse. Now this is bad news, some sort of bad news coming. Not good news, put it that way. So I feel like you got some bad news that is arriving. Um I, I don't know if I, it could have something to do with a father or a, or a boss. Boss could be delivering the message or a father. It could be about a boss. could be about a father. We have some... Or a narcissist. Okay? It feels like we have a narcissist here in your reading. Whether I don't know who this person is. Uh, but you got the emperor. Okay? And I would say that this emperor is reversed. Next to the king of wands reversed. The knight of cups reversed. It feels like we have a tyrant. This is a tyrant. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. So you're dealing with somebody that's emotionally unavailable. It could be a male or a female. It doesn't have to be a male or, or I mean, it doesn't have to be a male. It can be a female. Somebody that is very controlling. You're dealing with somebody that lacks respect for others. This person uh, may look good or they may have some sort of, you may be attracted to this person for some reason, but I don't feel like it's the right reasons. I feel like the honeymoon is over. The celebration is over. This is a messy situation that is coming to an end. Um, this is the end. It's the end of a commitment. It's the end of like a happy home or something like that. I feel like um, something may happen that, you know, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. I feel like you feel betrayed. I feel like you feel defeated. You know, somebody has really, really hurt you. They've stabbed you. It feels like they've stabbed you, you know, right in the heart. And I feel like, uh, you know, this is giving you the drive and the ambition to uh, make a plan. Whatever has happened, something is happening that really, really burns you it burns you and i feel like uh you are you're you're feeling um this person somebody may have made you feel inadequate or they made they they dimmed your your self-worth or your self-esteem or it's almost like a narcissist it feels like you're dealing with a narcissist who has stolen your desire to uh shine you know what i mean anyhow i feel like um you have somebody else here. You have somebody else in your future. But you're going to have to let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to so tightly. You are holding on to something very, very tightly. And you, and it, like I just read the card, it's really time. You're being called to go in another direction. And I feel like you have another partnership waiting for you. But you've been blinded. It's like you have on some road, rose-colored glasses or something like that. Uh, I feel like there's a there's a lot of control here. Somebody is is very much controlling. They're very very uh, 
disrespectful, disrespectful to you. And I don't, I don't know who this is, but I feel like it's definitely coming to an end. It's the end of a uh, union of some sort. It is. It's the end of a union. It's, it's over. This is a. This is, there's going to be a change, and I think there's going to be a change because there's been some sort of deception. There has with this Ten of Swords. There's been some sort of deception. We have a very controlling individual who, I feel like this person. Uh, flirts, flirts, flirts with other people, you know, is, is very much a flirt. Um, very cold, very cold hearted, very uh, ruthless, greedy, conceited, self centered, egotistical. Uh, I'm just telling you, okay? But you definitely have somebody here that is very, very egotistical. I feel like this person. Um, Maybe doing something impulsive. They may be doing something impulsive, and it it uh, really hurts you in some way. I feel like you're going to be something. There's something painful here. There is with that ten of swords. That's painful. That's that's like a death experience. Like the worst has happened. Um, it's freedom. It's freedom. It's it's. Uh, perhaps there's somebody here with that even has some cr chronic health problems, and hopefully it's not you. But, you know, it could be a father or a husband or... I think it's a masculine, put it that way. I think we have a masculine energy here that has some chronic health problems that they, they may not recover from. from. And that could be, that could be you know, um, something you're letting go of. Anyhow, um, the death card is a profound change. And this is your relationship sector in your relationship. Absolutely, 100%, there's going to be a profound change. No doubt about it. Separation or loss of some sort. Okay. And I feel like you're losing somebody who didn't see your value anyway. They didn't see your value. They didn't respect you. Because that strength card reverses somebody that lacks respect for others. Um, but the outcome card is the two of cups. That means that there is, a, there is another opportunity. There's an opportunity for love. There is. But you have, and this is freedom, this is liberation. You have to break free from whatever this is to get that opportunity for love. So I feel like it is a time of really going within. I feel like it's going to be an emotional time as well. I feel like you're going to have to go within. You're going to be isolating yourself. You, you could be crying. There could be some tears because it's not easy to let go of something that, you know, you may have thought was stable. You may have thought was secure. There could even be a third party here. You know, somebody may have been, yeah, honestly, you know, with that ace of wands, they could have a new match. You know, they could, they could have a new sexual partner or something. And that could be what has happened for some of you, not all of you. Um, anyhow, there's going to be some sort of realization, um, about a romantic partner, I believe, I th or a job. I, it's, either, it's either a romantic partner or some place you work. Um, and I think you've been receiving the signs. I think you've gotten all kinds of red flags and you've been ignoring them because of the rose-colored glasses. Okay. Um, somebody may tell you something, okay, with that page of wands reverse, could be a kid, could be a child, somebody's child, somebody that's younger, somebody that's, you know, trying to cause problems, this is like a negative Nelly, they may tell you something that, you know, shocks you, that changes your perception, that makes you see something more clearly, you know, with that page of wands reversed, I feel like, um, bad news is coming, bad news is coming, I think it's about a partner, or, a father or a husband or whoever this person is. Whoever this person is, is um, typically in a managerial position or a boss, could be an entrepreneur um, or whoever this person is, they're very conceited, very self-centered, uh, very controlling energy. A master. This is this is a narcissist. I mean, I hate to keep saying it, but we really, really. I was gonna say a master manipulator. We definitely have a, we have a tyrant here who may even get angry. I feel like there's somebody that has been draining your energy, and I feel like it's not gonna survive. Somebody or a situation or a relationship or something is that has reached the end. It's reached. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody may have reunited with somebody. You know, they may have. Uh, you know 
reunited with somebody from their past. I'm just being honest with you. And maybe you ignored it. You may have ignored it, you know, and, and didn't want to see it, you know, but there's some sort of information I believe that comes out that proves it to you, you know, and anyhow, um, this is the end of a commitment. This party is over. And I feel like you're in going to be in a very vulnerable spot where you're feeling inadequate. You know, you're feeling inadequate. I feel like you're, this is like depression. You may be in a state of depression. And I think it's because somebody has made you feel less than, than worthy. Anyhow, you may be um, with somebody that is not really committed as well. This person isn't really committed to a relationship. And maybe you were just staying with them because you didn't want to be alone, you know? Or you were hoping that they were going to change their mind or something like that. I feel like there's a third party situation here with that first card out, Three of Pentacles. I feel like this week you're going to receive some bad news um, in regards to some a partner that you have been uh, working with. You know, you've been working with this person or you've been in a relationship with this person. You're going to receive some bad news. I feel like this person has, it feels like they've almost met up with somebody that, you know, they were in a commitment before with. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like that's what it is. Um, Ten of Swords reversed. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is the end. You've made your bed. Now you have to lie on it. You know, this is breaking free from a partnership where there's no reciprocation. And there's no reciprocation because we got somebody here that uh, probably doesn't want a commitment. They don't want to, they don't want to get married or something like that. They'll probably never get married or something like that. Um, you, I also feel, um, sadness like there's a lot of sadness but this is actually the beginning of a new life because you're going to be letting go you know ace of pentacles is a fresh start i mean it's starting fresh starting from scratch starting over just go as well somebody may say just go just go it's over it's done you may hear those words um but when you get the emperor and i feel like that i feel that uh, we have we have somebody here that is very 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 uh, self centered very self centered doesn't care very rigid very cold very um, well they think that they're experienced but they're not I feel like they're just really selfish I feel like you got a selfish individual here you are. You're dealing, you're dealing with a selfish individual who is very, very obsessive as well. Did I already say that? I feel like this person has some sort of obsessive compulsive disorder, you know, obsessed with, I don't know, their ego or their body or being clean or something like that. Entitled not experienced maybe on the wrong side of the law there could be even some criminal activity here that pushes you over the edge power hungry i feel like we have somebody here that is power hungry that has stolen your drive you know they've really put you down in some way and you really 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 need to let go I think you're dealing with somebody that is very, very immature. They may have, um, they may look old, you know, or, or they may seem, or they may pretend that they're mature, but they're not. And I feel like you're going to be confused. You're going to go through a period of indecision. But I feel like you are going to choose to let go. You've been pulled in this direction for too long. So I feel like this is a week of really paying attention to the signs and going within to make up a plan and choosing it feels like you're going to be choosing to I mean this is a exciting new adventure you may be choosing to take a new adventure to to 
start over someplace else. There's some sort of betrayal here. This is like, I can't, this is it. It's over. This is extreme betrayal. How could you do that? So yeah, I feel like you're going to find out some information that uh, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back and basically gives you the information that you needed to let go of something. Good luck.